What's going on you guys? It's Kevin back here with the brand new best flip slash best solds of the month of June 2022. Long time no see in this type of video format you guys. I do apologize for last month. I didn't upload. It was going to be the best flips of May 2022 but we are back. Hopefully I don't know if I should make that video or not. Anybody that's new here my name is Kevin. I'm a full time reseller and I'm only sell shoes on eBay. So if you're interested in any of this type of reselling content please make sure to go ahead and subscribe down below and in these best flip of the month videos I basically go over my top flips of the month starting from number 10 all the way up to the very best number one so stick around and let's see what we sold starting off with sound number 10 you guys we got some nike court react vapor nxts these are men's hard court tennis shoes they were a size 11 we paid 43.39 for these on the east bay website i think it was in either february or march of 2022 we sold them on mercari for 128 dollars shipping was 11.63 fees were 16.81 and we walk away with a profit of $56.17. Those were a pretty good good shoe that I picked up off of East Bay. A good OA order. They all sold within a couple of months. I picked up 20 pairs, so great flip on those. Moving on to sell number 9. We got some Converse Chuck 70s. This was a collab with Fan Chen Wang. I'm not sure who that is. But these were like 2-in-1 shoes. They were extremely weird. These were a men's size 11. We paid $66.78 for these at the Converse store. This was probably a... Uh, april pickup april of 2022 pickup we sold it on ebay for 152.99 shipping was 12.71 fees were 14.87 and we walk away with a profit of 58 dollars and 63 cents on these bad boys these sold pretty quickly and for a good amount if you guys see these at your commerce store and i do recommend you guys check out your commerce store they have pretty good deals sometimes pick it up it sells for a pretty penny moving on to sell number eight you guys we got some adidas forum lows i call them the mocha colorway but they're called off-white brown these were a men's size 6. We picked these up at the Adidas store in June of 2022 for $37.20. We sold them on GOAT the same day for $115, you guys. Shipping was $0. Fees were $18.99. And we walked away with a profit of $58.81. So we sold these the same day. I saw, well, I didn't look them up on GOAT when I first picked them up at the Adidas store. They were supposed to be an eBay flip. But when I got home, I saw that there was an offer on GOAT for $115. I had only paid $37.20 for them at the Adidas store because they were $100 plus 50% off, and then I used an additional 30% off coupon. So they came out to that price after taxes, and I was like, you know, no brainer. So I took the offer, and that was top flip number eight. Moving on to flip number seven, you guys. We got some Adidas Super Sleek 72s. These were Ivy Park slash Beyonce Adidas shoes. They're a woman's size seven and a half. We paid $53 for these back in December of 2021. We sold them on eBay for $134.99. Paid $12.33 to get these shipped out. They are pretty heavy shoes, so shipping is going to be pretty high. Luckily, they went pretty close. I live in the East Coast, and specifically in Georgia, so I think it went to authentication in New York. Really came in clutch with that sale. Fees were $10.80, and we walked away with a profit of $58.86. These, right now, they're totally tanked, so... The fact that I sold those super sleeks for that amount, I'm genuinely surprised. But it, it was a good women's size. But uh, they eventually did flood the outlets. I think me and Antonio were one of the first people to pick them up and have them listed. Because I sold some in December of 2021. Like, same month we picked them up. Uh, but that was sale number 7, you guys. Moving on to sale number 6, you guys. We got some Adidas Addy Zero football cleats. These were a men's size 12 and a half. We picked these up at Ross for $21.60. I think we picked these up late 2021. But we sold these on go for $100. Shipping was $0.00. Fees were $16.50 and we walk away with a profit of $61.90. I honestly had these sitting for like a couple of months, you guys. I never listed them because I picked up multiple sizes at Ross. I picked them up one time and then like maybe a month later I found that pair, the size 12 and a half, and then I brought it home and I never listed it. But then I listed it on GOAT because I saw my friend Bobby Hustles. Y'all give him a follow on Instagram. He has some insane flips, but I saw he was selling them for a pretty high price. So I listed them at 100 just because I want to get rid of them and they sold. So that's great. Moving on to sell number five, you guys. You got some Adidas Originals NMD. These are called trail shoes. TR stands for trail, I'm assuming but they didn't have any things at the bottom so they look like regular nmds but i don't know why they had trail on the bottom we picked these up for 59 dollars and 63 cents at the adidas store in late june of 2022 we sold them on ebay for 148 dollars and 39 cents sheesh paid 964 to get them shipped out fees were 12.93 and we walked away with a great profit of 66 dollars and 29 cents on these bad boys when i first picked these up there were comps i said i picked them up in june but maybe it was late may but there was comps for 150 so i was like you know i only bought them for almost 60 dollars. that's a no-brainer for me but now they're not really selling so uh i lowered the price for my current listings i sold this one for 148 and then another one actually in july the time that i'm filming this for i think 120 something so 
yeah it was a pretty good shoe overall i still have a lot more but i have no doubt in my mind that they're gonna sell for over 100 dollars in that case they're still profitable to my liking moving on to top sale number four you guys we got some nike air zoom victory track spikes that we picked up at ross these are a men's size five these were 21 dollars 60 we picked these up in may of 2022 we sold these on ebay for 107.99 or 108 dollars shipping was 889 fees were 931 and we walked away with a profit of 68 dollars 19 which is crazy these sold extremely quick considering the price that i sold them at and they were a men's size five i would have never known that that size sells for that much but yeah, if you guys find high-end track spikes that are pretty small, consider looking them up or maybe taking them home because they might be big money. And now, you guys, on to top sale number three. We got some Nike Premier 3. These are foot ground soccer shoes. These were a men's size 10. We put these up at a clearance store in North Carolina in April of 2022 for $31.80. We sold them for $130, paid $7.78 to get them shipped out. Fees were $11.13, and we walked away with a profit of $79.29. These, I picked up, I believe, four pairs, and they all sold for $100 to $130. $130 was my uh, listing price, and I also took some offers. As you guys heard, I picked these up in April, and they're just a great shoe overall. I'm not sure why uh, Premier shoes go for that much. I think the retail is maybe 100, or the retail is 130. I'm not sure, but they are pretty good soccer cleats. If you guys ever run into them at a clearance store, you know I haven't seen any Nike cleats at Ross Marshalls, like at least like Premiers or pretty good ones in a long time so don't bother going to go look for those shoes at marshall's or ross or burlington or whatever they're not there but if you find them at like a clearance store even online cop them top sale number two you guys are some adidas ultra 4d 5.0s these were a men's size nine and a half we paid 121 dollars and 90 cents for these back in like october of 2021 we sold these for 249.99 on ebay Paid $11.20 to get it shipped out. Fees were $26.62. And we walk away with a profit of $90.27. They were a high-end pickup. Me and my friend Antonio picked these up. We both got like, I think, around 15 pairs each. They were a little high in the price and the buy cost, but we knew we would be getting a good amount for them. I still, I think I have like two or three left, but we sold most of them and they're just great shoes. They look insane. I was thinking about keeping a pair myself, but I don't like how the 4Ds feel on feet, so... These were a great shoe, great colorway. I don't know why they sell for so much, but they're really nice. And now, you guys, on to top sell number one. This was an insane find. We got some Under Armour Curry 7s. These were, I don't think they were friends and family, but I know that there's an ESPN article I saw that Riley Curry, Stephen Curry's daughter, designed these shoes for him to wear for like, I don't know what kind of occasion it was in the NBA or something like that, but he wore them. She designed them. I'm not sure if they ever came out like, you know, to the public or anything like that, but we found them at Ross out of all the places. Uh, we found these in, you know, the same month, June of 2022 for $74.20. We sold them on eBay. And we sold them during the NBA Finals when the Golden State Warriors, uh, I'm not sure what day it was, but uh, the Golden State Warriors were, were in the Finals and they were playing. I don't know who the other team was. Sorry, you guys. I don't keep up with sports. But they were still playing. I think it was a, the middle of the week. But you guys, we sold these for $350. My goodness, that is insane. Let me tell you guys a story on these. So I sold them. I listed them for like $150, right? And then they sold like in less than 20 minutes, I was like, what the heck? I was like, happy. I was like, great. You know, like, but then somebody messaged me. I got, I got like five messages from like five different people. They're like, hey, is these still available? Are these still available? Like after they sold. And I was like, no, they sold. Some dude was like, how much do you want to sell them to me for? Like, I'll pay you a lot of money. I'm like, I don't know, dude. Like, tell me your number. Like, what would you pay for this? He's like, he'll pay me like $200 more than what they sold for. He sounded desperate for these shoes. So I'm like, all right, throw me a number. W what would you pay for these? He was like, 350 and I was like, 350 yo, what? Immediately, like, yes. Now, I wasn't going to be like, nah, give me 450 You're like, I wanted to get rid of these shoes. I'm in the mentality right now. Like, I'm trying to move stuff, cash flow. Maybe if I held these, I probably would have gotten more money for them. But to be honest, I have no idea. But I think it was a really good decision for me to sell them because, you know, it was right during the finals. Uh, the Golden State Warriors were playing, and then eventually they won. So I probably could have gotten a little bit more for them. But like I said, I just wanted to move them. So I was like, yes. I listed them for $1,000 so, like, nobody else will snipe them. And then he sent me an offer, and then he paid. That's the story on those. So I didn't tell you guys like the the full numbers so now that you know the stories well i sold them for 350 paid 12.29 to get in shipped out fees were 30 dollars and 28 cents and we walk away with a profit of 233 dollars and 23 cents mind blown
I did have to split these shoes with Antonio because when we found them, we were like, you know, this was a risk basically. Like, we didn't know if they were going to sell or not. There was no info anywhere, also. Nothing on Gold, nothing on eBay, nothing on StockX. Yeah, we're like, you know what? It's a risk. They were on men's size seven, you guys. We took them. And when it's a shoe like that, uh, typically, since me and Antonio go sourcing most of the times together, we split it. So, like, I buy it or he buys it. And then when it sells, whatever the profit is, net profit, we split it uh, in half equally. So, I split the $233.23 with him, but I'm still counting it on the list because that was a profit and I sold it. So yeah, that is going to conclude the best flips of June 2022, you guys. Let me know if you missed me. Let me know how your sales have been down below in the comments. My sales have been wonderful. I cannot complain. I'm truly blessed that I get to do this for a living and also make videos about it. I really do appreciate you guys for watching to the very end. Like the video, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay great.